All right. Yeah, what's the this, of it? This uh, little short video we're going to do is replacing the thermostat on 1978 Chrysler Cordoba. And right there is part of the old junk one. Well, no. Yeah, that's what's left of the gasket. That's what's left of the gasket. The old thermostat's down there on the ground right next to the old water pump. That's very important to get all the crap cleaned off the top. All the old gasket, gasket sealer. You want all that off there. You want it nice and smooth and clean. Because if you don't, and you're going to put it on there, it's got a leak. Yeah. It won't sell like it should. As much trouble as it is to get to this thing, you don't want to have to do that any more than necessary. Yeah. Require the best thing is to remove the air conditioning unit over, that's over the top of it to get to it. Which is that right here. And the hookup thing It'd be is nice if you could just get rid of the damn thing, but you can't. Because there's no Pull it. for the uh, for the belts. I can't believe that they can't invent something to do that with. All you'd have to have is really just the pulley part of that. All you need is you need this front piece. Yeah, but you still gotta have this here too. Yeah. Because that holds it down. That's an idler. Junk. Well, and blame Chrysler for that, you know, because they wanted to up their up their income. Yeah. You know? So they started putting air conditioning on all the cars. So, I mean, before, you know, people would say, well, we don't really want to pay extra for the air conditioning. So they just made it so just, we just put on all the cars. Where's jugs at? And if you want a car, you'll just have to buy it. Open. That's what bank loans are for. So they can sell you something more expensive than you really need. <clears throat> it became a matter of, if you want one, you're just going to have to take it the way it is. Exactly. Unless you want to take the chance of special ordering it. Yeah. Then you may never get it. There we go. That. Factories hate that kind of shit that anyway. Way. Special orders. It means they got to... Choose what they're doing and <coughs> do something special. And say, so you get a piece of sandpaper and rub on that. Right around there. I was reading about the Australian Chargers last night. Australian Chrysler Charger. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't know Australia ran into the same problems that we did with emissions and that kind of shit. You don't forget, don't forget there's a bolt back up under there and there's one yeah, under there. Try to put them where they go, where, where they will go on this thing we put it back. What's that uh, underwear? Let me see. Let me take this thing and scrape all the crap off of it. Now, the uh, <clears throat> hookup for this thing for is. Is right here. It doesn't matter. It's not, it don't work. It's not going to kick in. So no. There's really no reason to even worry about plugging it in. Oh, what he's doing here. And it don't. It ain't. It ain't open metal, so you don't have to worry about it short anything out. He's getting out of the old gasket. And then later, I'm going to vacuum this thing out later. So. I'll probably even do a so wash. Yeah. Why don't you just do it now? Okay. Because All right. there's no, no. There's no uh, battery charge. Right. So, so you, I can just go ahead and vacuum this thing out then. So you're not running the battery. All right. Now. So we'll get back to the radiator port part in a little bit.